commercial tracks you're doing. A brother gotta eat. Jam, won't you rap for food then? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host for the evening, Sereny. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. This is pretty serious. This is The Party Show, the first ever live taping of The Party Show. Welcome. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to try a monologue, my first ever. Are you ready? <laughs> so Tina Fey is my hero. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love her. She's been in the news recently. Um, someone broke into her new apartment in Manhattan. No. Stole her laptop full of jokes. So the police are looking into Dane Cook, uh, <laughs> Robin Williams is a suspect, and Carlos Mencia. <laughs> My money's on Carlos. <laughs> but really, Tina, I'm so sorry. I know what you're going through. Somebody took a bite out of my chicken teriyaki sandwich right before the show. I know exactly what's going on, so call me if you need to talk. <laughs> In bear news, 12-year-old uh, Abby Mayweather was jogging through a hometown of Cadillac, Michigan. Uh, when a 500 pound black bear started to maul her to death. She's okay, she's all right, but uh, somebody told her to pet the bear to try to win the bear's affection. <laughs> what? It didn't work. She eventually played dead and the bear left her alone, which you're not supposed to do that either. You're not supposed to play <laughs> dead when a bear is eating you alive <laughs> at all. But first of all, Abby, you're 12. Why are you jogging? <laughs> Who jogs when they're 12? And uh, secondly, Abby, next time you have to deal with something like that, please call me. I'll punch a <laughs> bear in the face. That's how we handle bears. Everybody, welcome Stephen Colbert to the show. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a great show for you. Ambition is here. We're going to talk about some sexy stuff. We're going to get some stuff cleared up in that department. We have the, com the hilarious comedy stylings of Ed Bailey. Musical guest Kelly Mays is here! <laughs> brief you guys I just wanted to combine the three things that I love the most in life and that's music comedy and filmmaking and this is my project this is also my basement <laughs> we're about to welcome my first guest ever to the party show you guys ready you've seen him on 106 and Park you've seen him on MTV please welcome to the stage ambition <laughs> guest ever on the party oh, show. Thank you. I'm s I, I am really happy about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad I feel uh, I feel important now. You are. The are first, you The me? very first guest. The, first the official one. first guest. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Can't nobody else get it. Thank you I'm so much one. for coming. Oh, I appreciate you having me. Definitely. So what's going on, Ambish? Can I call you Ambish? Yeah, you can call me yeah. Bish. Some people call me Bishin for short. Bish? All my, all, everybody in my story, they call me, all call me Bishin. They slip a little bitch in there some, bitch sometimes in. when they they try to slide bitching it in, in there. Bitching in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> bitching in the kitchen. You know, but um, I'm working. I'm I'm solo. You yeah, know, you're solo you know, now. I'll you used to be in that awesome band, Pretty Ricky. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yes, I'm I'm solo now. And how many uh, times? Whenever you say that to people, how many times are people like, "Wait a minute, grind on me." Does that happen a lot? Every single time. Every single time. You know, you know what I always get the most? Everybody says this. If they had a kid, they say, I can see my kid to your songs. Oh. Or, I got a girl because of you. Or oh. one of your songs. Oh, I got pregnant <laughs> listening to yeah, that song. Yeah, exactly. That's what I get the most out of everybody. Clap <laughs> if you got pregnant to a pretty Ricky song. <laughs> Anybody? One? Anna. <laughs> There's even dudes clapping out there. Ah! 
That's so funny. You know what's so hilarious about that is Slickum actually called me the other day. Really? Yeah. I didn't answer. I was like, what the fuck? But uh, I thought <laughs> it would be really funny if we called him today on the show. Yeah, call him up. Yeah? I you haven't, want I haven't to? talked to I haven't talked to uh, the guys in, um, in years, actually. Um, it wasn't that great of a, uh, a breakup. Yeah. And um, they were probably kind of mad that I left. But... Um, yeah, call them up. Let's I was always it. cool with Slick. So. Let's do it. Let's, <laughs> let's call Slick them. You guys ready? Yeah, call them up. <laughs> yo, 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 you on the phone with Slick Puller, a.k.a. Rock'em, Sock'em, Slick, a.k.a. Slick, your girl, Jow, Jow, what's good, Jow? How did I know going to sound like that? <laughs> Slick, what's up, dude? It's me, it's Tyranny. Oh, yo, what up, Jow? You ain't hit me back. I gave you them numbers. Good to hear from you. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry I missed your call the other day, but you're not going to believe this. Guess who's here on my show? Who you wish, Yadi? It's, it's Ambition. Who? <laughs> Ambition's here. Nah, sure, I don't know no Ambition. I got, I'm, I'm, I'm ambitious about getting them panties, though. <laughs> you let me see them things. It's four play. Four plays here. Four plays on the show. Four, oh shit, shout out four play in there. Let me holler at the kid. I ain't holler at four play since the cook guy shot. Put him on, put him on. You want me to put him on? Alright, okay. I'm four put play, where you at? Shout hit me. Yo. Yo, then four do? play. What it do, son? Hey, it's the same, you know, doing my thing. You know, what's good everybody? with you, man? I ain't talked to you in a minute. Well, you know, we good. We out touring. We in Des Moines. Yeah, I'm saying that they're about mixed. We're about to get it popping. We're about to slip some money <laughs> off a bitch ass. You know what I mean? So about I see ain't nothing changed with you? Nah, you know, we doing it. We're good with you, son. We let you go. I ain't heard from you. Uh, what you mean? You know, when we let you go, you know, you ain't want to do the, you do the Slim Pretty Ricky thing. You want to do your own thing, Shia. I respect it. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to do my own thing. So, I mean, you ain't let me go. Just to get uh, that well, straight. Well, you know, I, I, know I left you. Because the they holler at me. But Blue holler at me, okay? Blue and Speck holler at me. We seen the video. I don't know what you're talking about. We let yeah. you go, fam. You're no longer Pretty Ricky. Me, Slick. <laughs> You Come know, on. slick and blue. <laughs> uh, Spec still doing the thing. You seen the video with popping bottles, hitting bitches, sniffing coke off a bit, back shot, whatever you want. <laughs> we in there. Yeah, I mean, I feel you. I know. I see y'all doing y'all thing. Slick got more game than a little bit. <laughs> You heard the name, Shotty? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna need you to stop saying our name in the video, Shotty. You know, we're not really affiliated with the whole ambition thing. We only, our only ambition is to get them panties, boy. Don't, don't, don't be talking about that. I'm, I mean, you I feel you, but, you know, since I left the group, I had to do my own thing. You know what I mean? You didn't fit in. You didn't want to wear the jean jackets. You know what I mean? You didn't, oh. you didn't, want, you didn't want to wear the peach blazers. We had the peach blazers. No, come, come, on, come on, hold on, come on now, B. Yeah, I'm to say. Back, like, for real, yo, for real, B. About. Like, for real, B. Like, you need. You don't huh, call me peace. Fact. I'm slick, Bella Fonte. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Slick, what an asshole, slick. <laughs> so what's been going on? I mean, you left the band, and now what? Now what? Well, I'm, you know, I'm doing my solo thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I um, have a new project coming out. Uh, it's called Versus, my new mixtape. I just released a single off of that. It's called Salute. That's my first single. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I'm grinding. I'm in the studio right now. I got a new album coming out this January, first quarter. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm pushing, you know. Yeah, good you know, for feeling you. Good, feeling good to be free. One more question before we uh, get to some comedy. Um, we're doing this thing, this little segment. We like to call Is That Weird? So I'm going to ask all of my guests weird? tonight. That's yeah. <laughs> so um, if you're watching, uh, hashtag Is That Weird? Um, just tell me something weird that you do. I know you're kind of a nerd, like you're like a secret nerd. Here, let, yeah, me, let uh, me tell you. Okay, something weird that I do and that I tweet about is that um, I have had a sexual fantasy about every single one of my bosses I've ever had, ever, forever. And they're probably watching this. <laughs> wow. So, that's pretty weird, right? <laughs> I need a business so I can yeah. hire you. <laughs> 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 so what's something weird that you do? that you would like to tell me about? Um, something weird. Uh, <laughs> I, I actually, um, this, is, this is weird when I tell people this. I, uh, I wrote a book uh, about a year ago. Um, That's pretty that weird. It's published my first <laughs> novel, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> for, you know, for a singer. But what makes it weird is that it has nothing to do with singing. Every time I say, like, hey, yeah, I wrote a book, you should check it out. And they're like, oh, so it's about your life and like being in 
Nigga, Pretty Ricky and leaving the group. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, you, after life after Pretty Ricky or something? I'm like, uh, no, it's about ninjas. <laughs> that is weird. That's weird. That's awesome. Yeah, the, the book is called uh, <laughs> The Shinobi Tales of the Night Wind. Um, you can pick it up on Amazon right now, Born and Noble. Um, yeah. But yeah, it has n absolutely nothing to do with music. So that is and I'm nice. actually in the book. I wrote myself into the book. I play a detective. <laughs> and uh, and <laughs> if you look up, look, look up the book right now. It's called <laughs> Tales of the Night Wind, um, The Shinobi. Um, there's a picture of a ninja, and it's overlooking my city, Pittsburgh, PA. <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it does, it's me in the ninja suit on the cover. Oh, so. shit. That's fucking weird. I, yeah. <laughs> I've been, weird. Well, I've actually studied ninjutsu since I was uh, oh, yeah. seven years old. So, uh, <laughs> shout out to my instructor, uh, Raymond Anderson. But, uh, yeah, Raymond. Yeah, so I, people don't know that side of me. So, that you know, like you said, I'm a nerd. I have you are. nerd tendencies. <laughs> that, um, You're a closet nerd. Yeah. Give it up. <laughs> All right, guys, give it up for ambition. Thank you, Thank you so much. Okay, guys, uh, up next we're going to have a hilarious comedy set from Ed Bailey. Oh, yeah! Yes. Yeah. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to the party show. You guys ready for our guest performance? Woo! Yeah? yeah. We've got. He's open for Hannibal Burris. He's open for Tommy Davidson. Yes, for real. Ed Bailey, everybody. Welcome, Ed Bailey. Come on, party show. So happy to be in Pittsburgh, yo. Are y'all a little too happy? We still in the basement, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's different being in the basement here than being in the basement back home, though, because I'm from Cleveland. Clap it up. One. <laughs> oh, I felt some delay. I felt some delay. They didn't want to do it. You didn't want to do it, did you, buddy? He was like, no, I don't want to clap. <laughs> I like Pittsburgh, though. I've been out here for a couple years. Got my, got my job out here. I'm excited. Anybody in here work? Yeah. Anybody here like their job? No. It gets a little worse. I understand. I hate my job. I work at a bank, which is cool if you work corporate, but I work in a bank. And working in a bank is not the same. <laughs> Especially if you're the black guy on the team. <laughs> Seriously, if you work in a bank and you're the black guy, there's always that one white dude that don't know how to talk to black people. <laughs> you can tell by when he comes in, because the, the greeting to you is totally different. He's like, hey, Carla. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. Deborah, how you doing? How was your weekend? Ed, peace out. I'm body, body. What's goody? I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Does that mean you peace me out, but we just got here? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Quit saying bout it bout it. Ain't nobody been bout it bout it since 98. Let it go. <laughs> gotta work though, because I, um, I have a baby on the way. Woo! Yeah! Uh, you can not applaud, because you don't even know if I like this motherfucker. <laughs> you don't know if I was happy about it. You don't even know if it was planned. You ever get the news about a baby? <laughs> you talking sports, you get that news about a baby? You be like, oh shit, I gotta act like I was excited about this. <laughs> We thought we was on birth control. This shit is not cool, but hey, this is great. This is wonderful. <laughs> then you go to the ultrasound, right? And as a man, you just hope that you're having a boy, right? All you do is sit in the ultrasound and point out things that look like a penis. Like, is that a dick? <laughs> that a dick? Just like his daddy, look at him. Like, no, that's his femur. Oh, you think that's a dick right there? <laughs> that's the placenta. I'm like, the placenta? I ain't even never seen one of those. What that tastes like? freak because <laughs> whenever you're a dude and you're having a girl you start getting nervous because karma is strong in this world I just don't want everything that I've ever done to a woman to happen to my daughter like I'm not ready for that like, I don't want my daughter giving head in the back of a Magic Johnson movie theater <laughs> to a midnight showing of Night at the Museum starring Ben Stiller it's just not what I want for her she's worth more than that you understand what I'm saying Besides, if my daughter's giving head in movie theaters, this is going to be a Tyler Perry feel like. But she's going to support black cinema is all I'm saying. We got to keep those dollars in the community because it takes a village to raise a child. But man, that's all I'm saying. A lot of weird stuff happens to me, man. Like I, 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 I catch the bus to work. Anybody catch the bus to work? It's like a cool little, no? Everybody got cars? F*** y'all. 
And everybody can't afford gas. Gas is three seventy nine or three eighty nine a gallon. That's too much. I ain't. I don't even make with seven dollars an hour. What the. Fuck? Get on the bus as a black dude, though, it's a little weird because every time I get on the bus, there's always like an elderly person who clutches their purse and turn away like I'm going to rob them. Whenever I see that, I'm just like, uh, excuse me, ma'am, do you realize we are both on the bus? Like, uh, you just as broke as I am. <laughs> you know how racist you got to be to clutch your purse and you sitting on the bus? It ain't even a real purse, it's a pocketbook. You know, purses like a Dooney and Burke or, you know, Michael Kors, nice little class, real cool. A pocketbook's like that big fake Indiana Jones satchel with fake, <laughs> fake leathers, got all types of change and envelopes in it, got a son's asthma pump in the bottom of that motherfucker. He's like, give him his asthma pump, baby, 34 years old. He done passed out at Planet Fitness on the squat machine. <laughs> give him his shit back. Weird, man. Uh, working at Giant Eagle is kind of whack and it's kind of cool at the same time. Because when you work at the service counter, you become like a connoisseur of race. Like you, you understand people better. Because everybody returns stuff based on their race. <laughs> Seriously, if, if you're ever in line, just watch this. This is true. Like you'll see a, a, a like middle-aged white women come into Giant Eagle and return shit just because they can. They don't have any real reason behind it. <laughs> There's no real thought press process behind it, except for I'm white, the owner's white, you're black, take this shit back, you lose, I have my receipt. <laughs> Store policy states that you can take this. I actually watched a lady eat a bag of chips in line and return them because she didn't like the logo on the bag. I said, that's bullshit, Doritos been using the same logo for 15 years. You knew what you was getting yourself into. My favorite and least favorite people to wait on are Asians. All right, so we've had some people behind Asians in Giant Eagle. That's cool. I love them. I hate them. I just feel real weird about them. It's because I don't know what's happening when they come to the customer service counter. You ever seen an Asian at the service counter? First of all, they don't have any concept of space. Because they're standing right behind the dude in front of them at the counter lo looking around. You ever see a confused Asian? Them chinky eyes get beady as hell. You are good. No, you don't work here. You work here. <laughs> Are you next, sir? Are y'all together? No, I just... no, we're not together. <laughs> then when they get to the counter, they show you a receipt that ain't got nothing to do with what they present to you. They're like, ah, oh, excuse me, sir. The carrots, uh, 99 cent a pound, correct? Mm -hmm. You look at the receipt, you're like, yeah, that's true, but you showing me two toothbrushes. Like, what the fuck they got to do with your shit? Do you just not like the price, or? What's going on? Let me ask y'all a serious question, and this is just something that I observed, and you tell me if this is true. Are Asians either the best dressed or worst dressed people on earth? Uh, like, there's no real in between. It's either Louis Vuitton head to toe, or it's like a Minnie Mouse sweater, some polka dot corduroys, and them cheap ass shoes with the bow tie on them. Where the hell are you getting these baby doll shoes with this little half inch heel that click when you walk through the store? You've been in the store two and a half hours, only thing in your cart is almond milk. What are you here for? <laughs> what is your purpose? <laughs> that joke would actually be racist if I didn't talk about black people. Uh, I know we've all been in the stores and we've just seen black people try to return shit that we didn't even buy. I'm gonna keep it real. Mm. Like, no sir, you did not get that TV from Giant Eagle. We didn't even sell 19 inch fat back Toshibas. Where the fuck did you get that? with a universal remote with no batteries. Who the fuck is you fooling? I came with two AA batteries and they're trying to get store credit. You didn't even get the shit from this store. Yeah, take that back to the Goodwill where you got it from. No, nobody shops at the Goodwill? I see a couple Goodwill outfits out here. I ain't gonna point nobody out. <laughs> hey, y'all been great, man. I'm Mad Bailey, y'all been good. One. That just happened in my basement. Yeah. We'll be right back with Kelly Mays. Welcome back. You guys ready for our next guest? Woo, yeah! Yeah? Who is it? You've seen her on MTV? She's one of my personal heroes. Guys, welcome Kelly Mays. <laughs> Yeah.
Matt so Nessie. you guys know each other, right? Yes, you guys it's are true. old pals. <laughs> we've 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 been we've been at this for a while. Yeah, yeah. he and I. Pittsburgh Aww. music. Yeah. it's definitely. very very <laughs> monumental actually that you have the two of us here That's at awesome. your first show. I could be, yes. I would, I would almost say that we, you know what I mean, in terms of like. We pretty much started being serious at the same time. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And we've done uh, we've done stuff together at uh, what was that that little place down the the Indian Garden in yes. Oakland? I was a bartender. <laughs> I was a dancing bartender. What? <laughs> a bartending babysitter, actually. I bartended, then I babysat. Aww. Then I bartended. Yeah. And, and my break dance huh? crew, uh, caution crew at the time, we used to go down there and dance. And the place was uh, literally like the corner of your basement yeah. and we like break dance and try not to kick uh -huh. people. So this is big deal for you guys. Definitely. This is like definitely. a whole basement you guys are in right now. You just got back from a pretty interesting uh, little adventure out in the West Coast. Yes. Tell I me did. about that. Um, well, I, um, I went out there, I had two shows. Mm -hmm. um, I performed at the Zeitgeist Media Festival, which was like really huge for me because um, Zeitgeist, the movie, the, there's many movies actually, mm -hmm. and there's a movement that is represented by what's given in these movies, and uh, Peter Joseph was there and planned the event and is also a performer, so it was this amazing opportunity to connect with people that believe in, you know, a lot of things that I think are important for the world to know, and at the same time, I met somebody that I totally idolized, so that was dope. Nice. And then I performed in San Diego, and in between, I like I was saying, bef I felt like my you know half my DNA is from there. So, I my family mm. is uh, my birth family is from there, my father's side. Your birth family, so you were adopted. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. You went and met your 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 family. Yes, that's I incredible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow! Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about what else is going on. I mean, you're back, you're here in Pittsburgh. I know you're doing all kind of crazy shit here. Yes, yes, it's true. <laughs> Tell I me about it. Shit. He's always up to something awesome. <laughs> yeah, um, well, there's so many things. I am actually going to, um, we have a community house in Lawrenceville that I own with a couple people, and we're going to basically turn it into both housing for some amazing uh, friends of mine, as well as um, a full service like recording studio and sort of healing center because all of my homies are Reiki masters and yoga teachers and permaculture specialists and they do just amazing, yes, amazing that things. That is so. fucking cool. For those of you who don't know, that's some pretty cool shit. Yeah. <laughs> it is cool shit. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing like a weekly uh, Friday night uh, party to make rent and bills because we're really trying to um, keep what we're doing as affordable as humanly possible. Oh and, my god. You know, I wanna keep my music free. I wanna just keep putting it out there as best we can. So every Friday night, what? Do you know what I thought you meant when you first told me about that? What? So you were doing like, you were going to perform the Broadway show Rent in your house. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's, you, that's no weird. No wonder you were like, you kind of, I felt like my, the energy I felt was, that's weird. That's that was the energy I felt. Weird. And I was just kind of like, what? That's kind of funny. Because I thought she'd be excited about it. There was music right? and makeup and hairspray in my ears. And I was like, she's going to be doing Rent out of her house. She probably would be doing something like that. I did not like that Broadway, so I don't know. I was like, that's that's cool. That's weird. Yeah, that is weird. That's super weird. But uh, but that makes a lot more sense. So thanks yeah. for thanks You're for walking welcome. me through that one. You're that was tough yeah. for me. Yeah, but you can. It's cool because you'll be able to come and hear about everything that everyone's doing. Because I really, um, I think this is a time in human history for everyone to recognize that they, we all have gifts, really important gifts that need to be shared and. It's that time. It's not about like me and ambition being up here. You know what I mean? Everybody has something really powerful mm -hmm. to share. And so I'm hoping that that's what this kind of party represents in Pittsburgh and like what y'all are doing. It's, you know, you're, you're doing that. You're expressing that very special thing that's going to help you. everybody evolve. <laughs> Thank in you. In my humble opinion. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't wait to hear your music. Thank you. All right. Right back, Kelly Mays is going to do a song for us what? that you've never heard before. Woo! Even though I stay away from cannabis like wild cloud, vegan and no fried sex. Similar to Christ, I can find red Please welcome to my basement ass stage, <laughs> Kelly Mays. All right, so this is a new song that is gonna be on my next album called Fifth Element. So hopefully, I remember it all. I'm doing an acapella, because it's not even a real song yet. Oh, yeah. 
If you can dream it, then you could see it. Create whatever you want, know you could be it. Can I ask a favor? To honor the labor of every man, to show babies love, even smile or holding hands. We have the wherewithal to redraw the plans of humanity. My sanity wanes as I wonder where the dreamers live. I hear them screaming shit, and then I beam it in. My community is deep. We are the unlost sheep, no longer following one man in white. We have sewn our regalia tight. We're ready to march into the night. Love warriors with auric armor of gold. Golden light, with violence we no longer fight. Free school all day, our tribe all night. Peace, Berg, we ripe. Love dark, love light, with patience and foresight. Accept the wrong and we grow the right. Imagine all the water is clean. Imagine every child's smile gleams. Create a way to make it all true. You are the one, you are the glue. Imagine all the water is clean. Imagine every child's smile gleams. Create a way to make it all true. You are the one, you are the glue. I hate to repeat, but it's too important. While they keep distorting, we are not aborting. The mission, collective vision, to use science and technology to reverse all, to rebirth all native wisdom that would teach us how to heal ourselves and the earth. Without that, well, you might as well kick dirt, or just chill, or pop pills, become unconscious vil, and suck in the life force energy from the children. But the millions are ready. Don't believe it when they say we're not steady or dumb hippies or idealists. As far as I'm concerned, if you ain't on this path, you've been playing tricks, mind games, stuck in time frames of the past. But we need you back to help us kick some ass. We will release the wrath. The war is over. Prisoners free. Opening the door of the trapped. You feel me? Imagine all the water is clean. Imagine every child's smile gleams. Create a way to make it all true. You are the one, you are the glue. Imagine all the water is clean. Imagine every child's smile gleams. Create a way to make it all true. You are the one, you are the glue. We say we think we know, but we got no idea. It's called reality, believe it's not clear. It's all about perception, not erection, no water retention, or an election. We're all makers. It's our invention. And in my rhythm, I get him. See, they're never missing. You think the boys I'm kissing, but I will carve this living. And see, I got my own business. Daddy died, and I got driven, but the ism was given, and is written in visions inside of alien prisons because I made my decision before this body was given, knowing that I would be spitting. White girl with ancestor wisdom, repping for all of my women. Pyshin swimming in, see, like in my venom, G. I hope you understand me. If you don't, hit me up. We could discuss the theories and queries I enter. I don't know much, but I venture to prove myself wrong, to keep rewriting my songs, to unattach and play gongs, and never worry about right and wrong and instead create a space where everyone could create not assimilate let each voice be heard without hate at any rate i will translate are you down so see you there round a word it's a date but don't be late because this world has got us by the balls none of the riddles have been solved like what is this all for some are concerned about the fall some are convinced there is a wall that we all gonna crawl that we can't overcome forget and we're all one have you heard about the propaganda manipulate and shape your brand that little voice inside you understand uh, but you could see me steady grinding capricornian climbing dutty whining while they mining and blowing up mountains Poison in fountains, I hear so many saying they don't want to count us well. Fuck eugenics programs and the frequency of slow jams. I am not a daughter of Sam. I have got a new plan. Follow light and hold hands. We are not the poison. It's about the choosing. You were never really losing. Meanwhile, we could be using everybody. Got a gift. You could lift up your fam. Feel a shift. Choose the joy, not the pain. We ain't crazy or insane. We've been playing out a game, not knowing on a name is a mathematical equation. The time has begun to no longer run, to seek out of fun, to honor your dark, to any light. There is nothing out there. It is all our own fright. Because the experiment is affected by the observer. I got a new dream. I'll upload it on my server. You want to buy me out? I say, how about a merger? Together we have fervor. Then we will get further. What you see is what you get, and I ain't done yet. As soon as I fret, I'm thankful. I ain't dead. You could say my attitude is that a gratitude, and you start acting rude, and I say, chill, dude. You could start it, you could end. Forgetting what you said, created in your head, your enemy and friend, but lady, on my send to evolution as a dead. Open brains instead of puppets on a thread. From aliens, I they operated on my head, defeating all the dread. I got you out of bed. Many barely fed, and our hands are red, bleeding for the cred. Falling with no tread. If you don't start none, then there won't be none. When you make your hell, then you cannot run. It's like a secret. Seems to have been kept from the average person. Forget we're all one. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Ambition, dude. Ambition is here. In my basement. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Ed Bailey. Come on. That was a lot. 
Kelly May. Thank you, guys. That's the party show, guys. Tune in next week. We're going to have Rob Johnston from Vine and Before You is going to be here uh, September 5th. Tune in. Thanks, guys. Stay away from cannabis like why clap uh, Deacon and no fry sex Similar to Christ Got divine reps so tell me If you know you're going down Why step uh, Show no mercy With bruise and cruise Get hit with more bricks than new uh -huh. Jerusalem Riddles confusing fool Like confusion rules uh, Most cats are more square than Rubik's cubes We spit raps that are totally murderous uh, The rhymes are like an inner kind of serpent clutch So check out how these herbs get touched Unless your broad's giving us brains Nigga you ain't serving us Deacon and no Cunning linguists with stunning English. I true lies break more punks than Harry Rinquist. Every week with the best speech. Roll with cats and smoke more trees than the slash and burn technique. Sex beats what? between bed sheets. Red fleets, pulp fiction style. Even your car with red seats. We make like fly swatters and smash pads.